you are more than just a grade. I once was told by a parent that their kid in year 11 felt like they were just a grade. Felt like to the head teacher and the teacher at the school that all that really mattered was the grade that they got at the end of year 11. I get it, I get why you'd feel that way. It really can feel like that in year 11. It really can feel like the only thing that anyone really cares about is how well you're gonna do in your GCSEs. You are more than just a grade. Your teachers do not think about you in that way. So it's story time. I had to go to the hospital on Friday, don't worry, everyone's okay. I met somebody there that I hadn't seen for five years. I hadn't seen this person since they left school. And they were wearing the blue nurse's outfit. And I was so excited because they studied BTEC science with me. So BTEC science doesn't have the best reputation. But that person, they really took off during that BTEC. They really found their kind of niche. They found they could work really hard and they could get the grades. And they got a distinction star in the BTEC. And they got the highest progress in the entire school. Even though they were somebody who really, really, really found GC is hard but they went ahead and they did level 3 BTEC applied science and then they applied to nursing at, at university and there they were as a nurse and there was somebody that actually it seemed like they wouldn't have much life opportunities because they took what was on offer but because they did their best in that BTEC and they went on to each next stage they were there a professional job earning a really good wage, doing a job that really, really matters. And it absolutely, I don't know, I don't want to over egg this, but you know, it, it really filled my, my heart with something like, I don't like to say pride, but, because it's that person that did it. But I just, I felt so happy that that person had gone on that journey and got to where they wanted to go. And it was great to see that. And I promise you, every single teacher, they see each one of you in that same light. They want the best for you. They want you to be able to do what's going to make you happy in your life. So I asked her, do you love it? And she gave me a big smile. I knew that she was proud of herself. I knew that she'd gone on that journey. I knew that she was where she needed to be. It was great. It got a big high five as well. <laughs> and it is really important to the school how well their year 11 do. And that's what we call their kind of headline measure, the progress eight measure that the government kind of takes and ranks us against one another as schools. And you know what, to the head teacher, you are one of about a thousand, maybe even more kids at their school. And so yeah, it can feel like you aren't all that important to that head teacher, but I promise you, they do care. They do care about all those individuals. But you are one in that thousand, and you do matter as that individual. But the head teacher isn't the only individual to work with you in the school, you've got so many more. You'll have, if you're doing GCSEs, you'll have 10 or more teachers. All of those people really do want to come to school and they want to help the young people out in that school. SLT, the senior teachers in your school, they are incredibly hardworking people. They put in so much effort, they're the first to arrive, they're the last to leave. I promise you, they care deeply about how you do and how the whole school does. You matter to all of those teachers and you matter more to each teacher than just their subject. They care about you if they're interested in art more than you're interested in science. They care about that. The thing is, as teachers, as leaders in schools, we know that the best way for you to keep as many doors open as possible in your life is to get good GCSE grades. And that's why we bang on about it so much. Grades aren't everything, but they are the key cards to keep doors open. And really, my best advice at every single different checkpoint in your life is to try and keep as many doors open as you can. GCSE is the first time where you are or are not going to have the key cards to the next grade. So look ahead this year and think about what you can do next year and make sure that as many different options as you need are open to you. So you're not all about those grades. So make sure you do keep up your hobbies during this difficult exam period, even if it's just as a way to relax. There's nothing better than going ahead and going and playing some sport to forget what's stressing you out in your life. I didn't get my football yesterday, and that's really making my day a lot. We do want to know you as individuals, we promise. We do want to see you develop as a person. We do want to know all the things that make you you, but we are just looking after this one GCSE, this one small part of the package that's gonna make you you in the future. So come with your teachers, go on a journey with them, enjoy being with them, enjoy learning from them, and just use them to help you get where you wanna be next year. It's really interesting, we didn't used to do it a lot um, a few years ago, but every single head of subject has a really big Excel spreadsheet with everyone's name in and how they're doing. But we do understand and we do know those kids are more than just those numbers in our subject. And we do, we look at that and we track that progress because we want to help you succeed in our subject not because we want to succeed 
for our own life, not our grades, they're your grades. And we just want to help you have as many options as you can when it comes to your options for post-16 study or beyond. Certainly a few years ago, teachers did not track every single subject, every single grade, every single pupil. It was something new in the last kind of two decades of schools, this really close tracking of students. And because of that, it can sometimes seem like, well, they know my grades so well, but they don't really know me that well.